Today I'm going to be giving you guys my first impressions on Modern Warfare 2 after playing the beta on PlayStation over the weekend. I had a lot of game time and at the end of the entire beta when we hit level 30 we have a lot more to use and unlock. I'm going to give you guys a full honest review and if you guys should buy the game or not. So starting off with the good, right off the bat I enjoyed the maps so much more than Modern Warfare 2019. They actually have flow to them. A lot of them are medium to small. The only map I really didn't like was Hotel. There was a little too much going on on it. Uh, museum was really good. I think the only problem with Museum uh, was how many players were on it. It was only 6v6. I think in a 10v10 game mode, that map's going to play amazing. And then we had Farm and the other small little town map, which was awesome. Probably my favorite one. Another thing I really enjoyed about Modern Warfare 2 is the new weapon ranking system. So it's still kind of confusing to some people, but the way you kind of rank up your weapons is they're all kind of tied in together. So here's my base, my M4. Next is the LMG, the 5.56 um, Icarus, and then the M16, another assault rifle. And if you want to unlock all of the attachments for the M4, you need to go ahead and use these other weapons, which gives the game variety and you a reason to use these different weapons. So after all these weapons reach max level, you then have all the attachments for the M4. So the current max level for the M4 is like level 19 or 20. I probably knocked out 17 of those levels in a game of domination. I dropped probably like 20, 25 kills and... It was damn near done. Like, it just flies through, and then I can move on to the next weapon. I'll already have some attachments because I unlocked them from the M4. So, I'm not starting off from, like, barely level 1. 17 levels here. Good. Kind of moving on. It's so much more efficient. So much easier. It's not super tedious and grindy. It just works so, so well in this game. Now, while we're on the topic of loadouts, another thing I'm kind of neutral on is the new perk packages. I love change. I like how it's different. Everyone's given four perks rather than just three. But my only issue is, is the way you earn them in match. So it just tells you the perks that you earn. We got quick fix here and then bird's eye. But it doesn't tell me how I can unlock those. Is it just game time? Is it maybe my score? Like, it doesn't tell me how exactly I can rank it up. But I do love the concept. So I start off with scavenger and double time. And then throughout the match, I'll earn quick fix maybe in the middle of the game. And then maybe near the end or 75% of the way through the match, we get bird's eye. It's just a cool concept. I like how it's a little bit different. And there's just so many different options here that you could do. Because base perks. Here, if we want to edit base perks, we have all of these perks to look through. We got eight different perks. Okay? And then we move on to the bonus perk. We have, what is this? Seven, six, seven perks right here. And then the ultimate perk, we have another, like, five, like, there's just so many perks to choose from. It just makes for such a wide variety of perk package options. Like, the opportunities are endless with what you can create in this loadout system. On top of there being so many customization options in the perks, it also applies to the field upgrades. So as you can see, there are a plethora of field upgrades to choose from. I, I Again, I just really, really like the customization when it comes to the loadouts because the possibilities are endless. I have to say it because um, it, it just keeps the game super, super fresh. There's so many different things to use in the game uh, that people honestly haven't even touched. The suppression mine, I couldn't even tell you what it does. Obviously, I have it locked, but still, like, there's just so many different things I haven't even used or tried, and it, it's just going to keep the game really, really fresh for me. Now, while we're on the game, I think it's also worth noting how cool the kill streaks are, because if you aren't aware, you can actually toggle score streaks to kill streaks. Now, I'm not sure if this was implemented in other multiplayer games. I could have sworn it was, but if you want to just do score, you kind of want to just play for the objective, it's a little easier in score streaks this way. Cool. Tab them over to score streaks. When you capture flags, it gets you get a little bit closer to your next kill streak. Or if you're more of a kill whore like myself, you can kind of just change it to kill streaks. It's just nice to have that option to kind of choose how you want to earn your kill streaks. Another feature I feel neutral on is the third person game mode. It's really cool for those of you who, I don't know, want to play third person. I just think that's awesome that the options actually there. I tried playing it. Wasn't my cup of tea. I, you know, I gave it a chance and whatnot, but I'm just glad this is here for people who may be interested. It's just nice that there's something for everybody. Something I found to be incredibly overlooked in the Modern Warfare 2 beta, at least on console, are the settings. So here are my controller settings. There are so many options to perfect exactly how you want your settings to be and how you want the game to feel. It's unbelievable. Like here's just the regular controller settings. Like you get this and you know any other Call of Duty. But here in the advanced settings, there are so many different options, and I love it so much because it helps you just be as comfortable as possible on the game. Now, moving on to some of my dislikes slash things I could just care less for is just kind of the menu. So, for instance, the quick play, the, the way you access these different modes, it's, it's just too much, man. I don't like how I got to scroll over here to look for this. If I want to... 
I got a filter through here. It would just make sense if these were maybe a little bit more just smaller. Maybe they were all in the filter right here rather than right there. It, the loadout, custom loadouts are all on the bottom horizontally. I just feel like it should be like every other Call of Duty game vertically on the left side. It's just so much easier to use. Sitting in my per packages, again, these are horizontally. I didn't even know there was a little bar down here. I got to go all the way to the right. If I want to edit the one over here, I got to hit edit perks. Ch choose this. Okay, cool. Back out. I'm back to this menu. I click this again. I got to over here. I want to put this back on. I'm back to this. It's too much, man. It, it, it's just not organized in a way that I like it. It's just it's just too complicated. I just don't like how much is hidden. I got to keep scrolling over here again. Make it vertical. Maybe have these perks on the right side over here. Organization, please. Oh, also, same goes for the friends list. For those of you who don't know how to find the friends list, you need to press R3. You got to press the right analog stick. Pull up the friends list. Here's the people in your party. Okay, one friends in a party. Okay, here's my friend in a party. Here are all my other... Fr okay, we got fr friends over here. I Why is it horizontal? Why aren't they just all right here in front of me like, like Warzone and Modern Warfare? Oh, we have a, a friends tab. W, cool. Now I can see all of my friends here. I got... Oh, my friend requests are here. Go over here for the part. It, it, it's a goddamn mess. I'm moving away from the Modern Warfare 2 menu. Another huge issue I had was the time to kill. There's some instances where I swear I shot first and I'm the one who ends up dead. Doesn't make any sense. There's other instances where I run around the corner and before I can even see who's there, I'm done. I, I mean, I have zero chance to, to kind of react and win a gunfight. The TTK needs some tweaking. It's way too quick. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I like that little slower TTK where at least you have a fighting chance if you get shot in the side or in the back rather than just being insta-melted all the time. Another huge change I believe we need to see when the full game launches is the minimap. So as of right now, it's not a classic minimap. It's like how it was in Modern Warfare 2019. In order to see red dots ping on the radar, you need a UAV. So if people are shooting an unsuppressed weapon without a UAV up, they're just not going to pop up on your mini-map. Now, apparently the reason they do this is because it's more rewarding when there's a UAV up. But listen, if it ain't broke, don't you don't need to fix it. And that literally applies to this situation right now because we've had it for all these years. No one's ever complained about it. It's never been an issue why are we changing it? For what reason? There's no reason whatsoever. UAVs are always going to be rewarding because it's flashing, always showing people. Uh, suppressors are kind of pointless when they don't have the classic mini-map because when you shoot an unsuppressed weapon, they're not going to pop up anyway. So why would I even bother using a suppressor? Go. We got to go back to the classic uh, mini-map. I think they're going to end up changing this because in the Vanguard beta, it was the same issue and then they ended up changing it, thankfully. Or it was Cold War. One of the games, they ended up changing it and everything was good. We never heard another complaint about it. I, I just don't understand why they're trying to shove this option down our throat. If people want to turn it off, like just have a setting for it or something. I, I, I'm just tired of this classic mini-map talk. There's no debate. Keep it classic. Keep it how it should be. Now, this could be the Treyarch fanboy coming out of me, but... We really need medals in this game. I just miss seeing those medals fly by your screen after getting a triple to a quad kill. There's nothing. I mean, nothing shows up. Obviously, I know we're in beta, so we might have that. But aesthetically for me, I feel like we need medals. Like a, a nuke medal or a, a brutal medal. Just seeing that on your screen, it makes you feel some type of way inside. And I miss it. I feel like we haven't had medals in a, a long time. At least it feels that way. Um, notable games that had medals that just looked super flashy and beautiful. BO2, BO3. That was, oh, that was it. Like, where are they at? It, it just adds so much more to the game as, uh, aesthetically. I miss it. I feel like they really need to add those back to the game. This is an inc now, This is a super specific, but the drill charge is one of the lethals in Modern Warfare 2 so broken it's literally like a claymore that can blow up through walls it is uh, way too op and if this doesn't get nerfed it has to be a field upgrade it is way too much and i found myself dying to it quite literally every single time i encountered it and sadly i was encountering it probably every other game it was a little bit of a mess very specific but again i i think this needs to be reworked a little bit and finally the biggest no-brainer uh skill-based matchmaking it, it's present in this game uh my first like five games were super chill a lot of fun i was playing with my buddies just popping off after those five to ten games of having fun i'm, I'm playing cod champs and i didn't even know it um skill-based matchmaking is very very obvious in this game it's very present 
just like it has been for the past like three to four years. Modern Warfare 2019 had it, Cold War had it, Vanguard had it. And there's obviously ways to get around it, which people are going to do and take advantage of. Now, I'm not complaining about skill-based matchmaking because I'm playing super sweaty players. The connection plays a huge factor in it. So since it's skill-based matchmaking, I'm being put against other people similar to my skill level rather than my connection. So my connection suffers because I'm playing players based off of skill rather than the connection. And this wasn't that big of an issue in other Call of Duty games, but it sucks in this beta specifically because it's only limited to PlayStation players with codes and whatnot. All right, I need to stop myself because I can rant about this for another 30 to 45 minutes. So that's pretty much it. I think I covered literally everything I wanted to, at least for now. Again, I'm gonna have a full honest review of Modern Warfare 2 at the end of the beta. I'm um, on the 26th, and I'll give you guys my thoughts and opinions if you should buy the game or whatnot. But those are just my first impressions. Let me know in the comments. You know, throw it down your feedback down there. I'll, I'll, I'm down to chit chat and have some conversation. I uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe for more Modern Warfare 2 content and gameplay. Drop a like on the video, and I'll see you tomorrow. You guys all stay safe. Have a great day, and I'm out. Peace.